Hello, I'm Rosie Hales. I'm head of the programme coordination team for the Valuing Nature programme. Well, we know that the environment produces many things vital for life, like clean air, clean water, food, and also the wildlife uh, we so much love to see when we go walking in the countryside. And every day, decisions are made that affect the environment by people forming policy, by land managers, by businesses, and even in our day-to-day -day decisions. Now, when we make those decisions, quite often they're made on economic grounds. And if the value of the environment isn't incorporated into that, then effectively we're giving it an economic value of zero. So we need to improve our understanding of the values that the environment uh, contributes to our day-to-day -day lives so that we can improve the quality of those decisions that are being made. Well, the Valuing Nature programme is going to fund research which really helps us understand more effectively those links between the environment and human health and well-being. And the kind of values that we estimate here are not going to be only economic values. It's important to also consider the cultural, spiritual, aesthetic values that the environment pro provides. And a real challenge will be how to integrate those different types of value when we make decisions. So this program needs to be very interdisciplinary and that's why a whole range of research councils are involved from the arts and humanities through to the natural environment and the biotechnology and biological research council and the economic and social research council. We need all these different perspectives to understand the different types of value that the environment provides. So the programme coordination team really actually has two roles to play in this programme. One is about coordinating and helping those research projects that get funded under the call, but we also have a role in helping develop the interdisciplinary capacity in the wider research community. And to do this, we're holding a series of different types of events. For example, we have a business interest group where we explore with businesses the risks and opportunities in valuing nature, and we also try and facilitate links with different research projects. We also have a policy expert group uh, where we discuss or, or you know, um, talk to policymakers about why this research program is important and why they should care about it. We will hold things like landscape events where we bring together people with a common interest in one particular place, but they have different perspectives on how they value that place and why they value it. And so those kind of events explore those different perspectives. We will hold a series of debates starting this autumn on why value nature at all in the first place. And you know, similar sorts of events at conferences, um, and other kind of workshops to try and develop the interdisciplinary capacity, building on the original Valuing Nature Network 1, which took place from 2011 to 2013. So please do visit our website. That will be the portal for all this kind of stuff going on.